Guys, I'm glad you chose to watch this video before you replace your nozzle because there's a lot of people breaking their nozzles. I'm gonna make this quick. I'm gonna give you guys the easy, easy, easy steps to get your nozzle changed. Once you get proficient with this, you'll be able to do it in less than five minutes. Guys, let's get started. So the first thing is you guys need some hex wrenches and they come in your kit. One more tool you guys need is a nozzle wrench. I'm gonna have a link for this in the description below. Uh, you do not get one of these with the Anchor Make uh, toolkit. And lastly, it is ideal to have some pliers. Now these are pliers that have a jaw that opens very wide. You can do it without this, but you might damage something. So uh, go ahead and try and pick a pair of these up. So looking at the back of the hot end, you'll find four screws that you need to remove. One of them is gonna be here, one of them is here, and then two of them are down here. Now for the sake of time, I've already removed those screws, uh, but go ahead, remove them, keep them held aside, make sure you don't lose them. You'll find two screws up here, keeping this uh, cable in place. Go ahead and unscrew the screws and lift that out of place. So now we're at the front of the machine. We've got the cable removed as well as the six screws. Go ahead and gently lift this up and you can put it aside. Now the reason we're doing this is to get to this screw right here. Go ahead and remove that screw. Now that we've reached this step, I'm here to tell you that the previous things that we did were not 100% necessary. However, I do think that you should do those steps because uh, it gives you more working room down here. Um, so anyway, guys, what I want you to do next is go ahead and plug this wire back in because we need to now power the printer on. Once you're done running diagnostics, go ahead and preheat your machine to the required temperature of whatever filament you currently have loaded. The reason is we need to remove the filament. So I have PLA, so I'm preheating to 220 Celsius. When your printer is up to temperature, go ahead and click this knob on top to loosen the extruder gears and then pull the filament back. At this point, we're going to need our nozzle tool. Go ahead and put the tool under the printer and just gently unscrew it. And the nozzle comes out. Now I need to make a caveat to the statements that I just said. If you used your nozzle wrench and your nozzle did not come out very easily, if it did not just easily come loose, immediately stop. Do not turn the wrench harder. If you do that, you will break your hot end. That is why we need pliers. In this case, if your nozzle is stuck, go ahead and remove the entire front end assembly and remove that green bumper if you chose to not do that. Because in this case, now you need to do that and you need access to this little green silicone boot right here. You're gonna take your pliers and you're going to gently grip this green silicone boot. If you grip it too hard, there's a wire over here on the right side, you'll break the wire. So gently grip it, then go ahead and use your wrench and unscrew the nozzle. Guys, the goal here is to provide stability for this uh, block that is behind this green boot. If we don't provide stability for that block, it will snap and it will break. It's time to put a new nozzle in. Here is my bag of nozzles. I will just go ahead and pick one at random. You want to pick the size nozzle that you intend to use. Don't be random if you're actually, you know, replacing your nozzle. Uh, this bag that came with the printer has 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8 millimeter nozzles. So make sure you get the right one. Now go ahead and put your nozzle inside of your wrench like so, and go ahead and lightly screw it in. At this point, you want to do the best you can to torque this down, but you do not want to spin this green silicone boot. So again, use the wrench to tighten it down. If you notice that the silicone boot and the block behind it begins to rotate uh, in one direction, go ahead and get the pliers and once again, grip it and use the wrench to tighten it down. So there's a few reasons why we heated the hot end before we actually proceeded with the rest of this process. The first reason is in order to remove the filament from the machine. If we remove the hot end 
and we don't remove the filament, we're gonna get a bunch of plastic stuck in the threads and no nozzle is ever going to thread in correctly again. The second reason, and arguably the most important reason, is because whenever you heat the hot end, the threads actually expand. That makes it easier to remove the nozzle. If the threads don't expand, then uh, you're gonna be really, really pulling hard and torquing hard on that wrench, and the likelihood that you break the hot end is very, very high. Now, likewise, we want the hot end to be hot when we screw the new nozzle in, for the same reason. If you screw the new nozzle in when the hot end is cold, when you heat your machine up to printing temperatures, you're now gonna have a hot nozzle and it's gonna have loose threads. It's not gonna be as tight as it possibly can be. So again, you screw the nozzle in while you're at printing temperature in order for the threads to be as tight as they're gonna be when you're at printing temperature. So just a little bit of background for you guys there. Um, guys, make sure to do the whole process with the hot end at the temperature you intend to print. Guys, I really hope this video was helpful. If it was, please drop a like and a subscribe on this video. It helps me out tremendously and it helps me put my videos straight into the YouTube algorithm and get it sent out to everyone else. Guys, I really, really hope this was helpful. If you have any thoughts, please put them in the comments below. I can make videos, guys. Shoot me a DM on Instagram. I've got that in the link, a link in the description below. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye.